For this example, we've been asked to find the first and second derivative of the function x minus 2 over x plus 4, x minus 3. So the first thing we should do is write this in terms of partial fractions, as it will help calculate the first and second derivative. So writing x minus 2 over x plus 4, x minus 3, as a lot of 1 over x plus 4 plus b lot of 1 over x minus 3. We now need to multiply through by x plus 4, x minus 3, and we'll see we'll get x minus 2 is a lot of x minus 3 plus b lot of x plus 4. I now need to substitute in values of x to calculate a and b. So if I substitute in x is minus 4, I'll see that this bracket goes, so I'm left with an expression in terms of just a. So I'll see that I get minus 6 is equal to minus 7a. Therefore, a is 6 over 7. Now, if I substitute in x equals 3 into this whole equation, I'll see that this bracket goes, and I'm left with 1 is equal to 7b. Therefore, b is 1 7th. So I can write my expression x minus 2 over x plus 4 x minus 3 as 6 over 7 lot of x plus 4 to the minus 1 plus 1 over 7 lot of x minus 3 to the minus 1. Now I'm writing it in this form with the minus 1 power instead of the 1 over as writing it in this form helps differentiate makes it a little bit easier. So to calculate f prime of x, I just need to differentiate x plus 4 to minus 1 and x minus 3 to the minus 1. So I'll get 6 over 7 lot of the derivative of x plus 4 to the minus 1 plus 1 over 7 lot of the derivative of x minus 3 to the minus 1. So performing the differentiation, I bring the power down the front and take one off the power. So I get minus 6 over 7 x plus 4 to the minus 2. And in this second term, I get minus 1 over 7 x minus 3 to the minus 2. So I could write that as minus 6 over 7 times 1 over x plus 4 squared minus 1 over 7 times 1 over x minus 3 squared. So that's the first derivative. I now need to calculate the second derivative, so that is f double prime of x. And that just tells me to differentiate this expression again. So I have minus 6 over 7 times the derivative of x plus 4 to minus 2. Then we have minus 1 over 7 and the derivative of x minus 3 to minus 2. And then I just need to differentiate these two terms. So I need to bring the power down the front and take 1 off the power. So minus 2 down the front will give me 12 over 7 x plus 4 to the minus 3, and in this second term it will give me a plus 2 over 7 x minus 3 to the minus 3, which we can rewrite as 12 over 7 lots of x plus 4 cubed plus 2 over 7 lots of 1 over x minus 3 cubed. So I have found both the first derivative and the second derivative using partial fractions.